do it again? Okay. Hey everybody, Jay Todd here on Fremont Street in Las Vegas, and here's what's happening this week in gambling. Yeah. This Week in Gambling has been made possible by SBR Forum. Sports betting discussions and handicapping on all major sports leagues. Visit them at sbrforum.com. Hello, everyone, and welcome to This Week in Gambling, a quick spin around the gaming industry to help keep players informed and entertained. I'm your host, Jay Todd. This week, I've got an interview with a prominent gaming attorney, plus a story about certain individuals who want to make sure you and I never play another online casino game. But let's start our show in Nevada, where online poker licenses are flying. Slot manufacturer Bally Tech received approval for the first interactive gaming license for manufacturers of online gaming systems. This is a significant story, my friends, because Bally Tech provides the technology for certain Vegas big boys like Wynn and MGM. Now they team up with OnGame and put that poker interface onto the Bally iGaming platform. For players, that means a slow but steady migration in the United States toward online gambling. Of course, not everyone is pleased with the direction things are headed in this country in regard to gaming on the internet. Certain people out there not only want to keep online gambling illegal, they want to strengthen laws against it like the UIGEA. These Family values groups are claiming that online casinos are only going to target moms and dads and tear families apart. Of course, it was groups like this that just a few years back were claiming online casinos targeted addicts. And before that, we targeted children because, you know, kids have all the money. For more on the subject of banning gambling on the internet, here's everyone's favorite old bitty grandma, with this week's rant. Okay, here we go. Online gambling is legal and regulated across Europe and the United Kingdom. About a dozen states in America are moving toward regulating it. And even the U.S. Department of Justice has backed off in trying to criminalize the activity. Yet? Yet? Yet we still have these prohibitionists trying to make it a crime. They shove their ethics down our throats. They try to regulate our morality with laws. All in the name of protecting us from ourselves. Hey, pinheads, this is America where responsible adults should be free to play a lousy game of blackjack if they want to. Prohibition failed in the past, and it'll fail again. Some people are just too big to get it. We'll continue this discussion after the break and have our interview with gaming attorney Martin Owens. Follow, comment, and repin our gambling articles and videos. Visit Pinterest.com slash twigpins. Jack Link's Jerky presents Snackin' with Sasquatch. <laughs> Feed your wild side. You girls get anything funny, people hitting on you and stuff? And yeah. <laughs> people hitting on you and they, they try to take you home? Yes. You girls? Anything they can grab. <laughs> huh. well, okay, I'll keep my hands here. 
Before the break, we were discussing a story about how the good folk at the Family Foundation want to keep online gambling illegal. When we posted this story on our Twitter and Facebook pages, some of our friends out there had some interesting comments. William found that the whole thing is just a bit funny, while Earl was looking for the dislike button. You can voice your opinions too on this story and others, plus interact with like-minded individuals and me by getting over to our Facebook page and clicking the like button. I really need you to click the like button. Now, uh, with all the talk about how gambling is a plague on society, I thought it would be fun to get an opinion from an industry expert. Attorney Martin Owens co-authored the book Internet Gaming Law with Professor I. Nelson Rose. He is a highly respected individual in this business, and he's never at a loss for opinions or words. Hello, my friends. Jay Todd here. I've caught up with Martin Owens, one of the most preeminent internet gaming attorneys in the country. I brought him on the show because as players, you guys might not know a lot about this side of the industry or, or what goes on. So I thought I'd ask you and just let you go. What is one of the biggest secrets, something players may not know, that, that they need to know that you could enlighten our viewers with? Basically, I think the gambling industry, both the customers and the suppliers, the operators, need to get off their knees. For years, we've been browbeaten with the idea that gambling is some wicked thing from a back alley that ruins lives, that traps the unsuspecting investor. Well, you think about that for a moment. How much societal damage does gambling actually do? The latest study we have is 1999 when the Internet Gambling Report was first released. It said that gambling of all kinds caused about $5 billion worth of damage in the country, as compared with $165 billion for heart disease and $150 for alcoholism, I believe. So it is a problem, but it's certainly not the looming menace that people would have. Gambling is simply a boogeyman. It's a straw man for politicians to beat on. And we just have to stop accepting this role of the person who is beaten. They talk about damaging society. You tell me who could have damaged society more than the crooked speculators, investors, realtors, stockbrokers who put $8 trillion worth of damage on this country and countries all over the world. 100,000 casinos together could not have done that damage. You can drive through half the towns in America today and see ghost towns full of foreclosure houses. Did gambling do that? Holes in the ground in major cities where buildings were supposed to go up. Did gambling do that? <clears throat> Did gambling put us $16 trillion in debt nationally? No. And what about, what about the way that Wall Street is still operated? You had former Governor Corzine say a billion dollars. I don't know where it went. What would happen to a casino boss if he said that? They'd be throwing nooses over the lamppost before he got done talking. No. Gambling is an honorable and honest profession. I should know. I grew up on the back stretch of a racetrack, and I can promise you that the horse racing people do more hard work in a morning than the average guy does in a month. We all of us need to get off our knees. This is an honest decent pastime run by honest, decent people, and we should not accept any other characterization. Thank you. Wow. So lighten up now and tell us how you really feel. <laughs> I mean, you girls work for tips, right? Yes, we do. But you don't do anything for tips. No, we just smile and take photographs. Or videos. Videos, yeah. All right. Well, thank you girls so much, and thank you all for watching our program. We'll see you next week on this week in gambling, so you don't you don't do anything. For, what what would you do for tips? Oh, wow. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Free kittens to good homes.